Hey everyone, welcome back to the Splice tutorial series. I'm Ryan Harris, so in this tutorial, I'll show you guys some of the cool effects, transitions, and filters that can make your videos stand out even more. There's honestly an endless number of things you can do in the Splice app, and I'm finding new things almost every day. So we'll hop into the Splice app, and I'll show you guys how to do this. All right, so we're in the timeline here, and I've got some footage from a trip to Mexico. We're gonna start by adding a transition in between these two clips right here. You'll see a little diagram in the middle of the two clips. Click that diagram and the transition menu will pop up below. And if you scroll along here, you'll see all the different transitions that you can add in between your clips. So let's try one right now. Let's try the blur spin and let's see, there it is right now as it spins. And if you wanna change the length of your transition, use this timer right here, slide the blue bar as you need and make it shorter or longer and your transition will be complete. Now to remove a transition, just click on that diagram again, go down to the end and click none and your transition will be removed. So now I can show you guys how to animate your photos or your videos and this is the same process if you're doing it for a photo or a video. So we'll click on the clip that we want to animate, scroll along your bottom bar till you see animate and click that button. And now we'll click enable Ken Burns. And we have a start frame and an end frame. So for the start frame, I'm gonna use my fingers to pinch and zoom. And you can even spin your clip if you want, do whatever you want to set the start frame. And then for the end frame, I'll want it fully zoomed out to its original space, to its original spot. And now, if we preview it, we should have a nice Ken Burns effect as it animates back. So now I'll show you how to use filters. Select the clip that you wanna put a filter on, scroll along the bottom bar until you see the filters and click. And now you'll see a huge number, endless number of filters that you can apply to your footage and you can adjust the intensity of the filter using this slider here from zero to 100 and there are many, many different looks you can go for. If you want to remove the filter that you put on, go right back to the start and click none. Now, if you don't want to use a filter and you want to color grade on your own, you can select the clip and click the adjust button right here and you'll have all the tools you need to color grade your footage. So you've got the contrast, you can crank that up, set the exposure right here. This clip's already pretty well done and sharpness if you want to sharpen up your clip a little bit just like that and just exit the menu when you're done there's also a bunch of cool effects that you can add to your footage by simply clicking the effects button in the bottom bar and you'll see them all here you've got chroma chroma 3 glitch some vhs kind of looking different effects that you can throw over your footage and you can even have multiple on one clip to change the length, if you want it to run the entire length of your film, the effect, then you just use the bars like you would with any other clip, and the glitch will be applied to every clip in your timeline. And then to remove it, simply select it and press delete. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let us know in the comments below. Also let us know any tutorials that you might like to see in the future moving forward. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.